My name is Scott Campbell with Bentley's Technical Support Team. As a Hammer user, a common task you encounter is the creation and comparison of multiple scenarios. You might be comparing the effectiveness of different approaches to surge protection, such as different sizes of air valves. The process you might take is to view the results in one scenario, change the scenario, and then view the results for another one, basically looking at one scenario at a time. However, there is a simpler way to view results on the same graph. Today we'll talk about how to display time, history, and extended node data for more than one scenario in Hammer's Transient Results Viewer. Typically, the results for a time history graph and extended node data graph display what is happening in the current scenario. However, if you are testing different configurations for protection devices, you may want to have multiple scenarios. This is a typical workflow for scenario management, so your model may already have more than one scenario in it. As an example of scenario management in Hammer, consider a case where you have an air valve. You may want to see what happens with a double acting air valve and compare the results to a triple acting air valve. This way you can see which device will offer better protection. To do this, you would create a new scenario and a new transient alternative to represent the two different air valves. This sample model has a number of different scenarios and different air valve types. Only one air valve element is in the model. The different scenarios use different transient alternatives in order to represent the different air valve types and the properties for the air valve. Rather than view results for two different scenarios in two separate graphs, you may actually want to try displaying the results for two scenarios in a single graph. In order to do this, you want to make sure that both scenarios have been computed. In this model, I have computed both the double acting and triple acting scenarios. Next, open the transient results viewer. You can select from a number of different graph types. In this case, I'm going to select hydraulic grade and flow. When you click plot, what you see is only for the current scenario and not for both scenarios at the same time. To see results for more than one scenario, click the ellipsis button next to the additional scenario selection. In the next dialog, select the scenario or scenarios you want to display. Notice that the current scenario is not listed. That is fine, the results will still be there. So in this case, we're going to highlight the double acting and then click OK. Now when I try to graph the hydraulic rate and flow, you're going to see the results for both the triple acting and the double acting air valves. In this case, you can see that the hydraulic grade is a little bit lower for the triple acting case than for the double acting case. Displaying results for multiple scenarios is a good way to be able to compare results for different setups in order to find the best solution available. This workflow works for both time history graphs and extended node data graphs. It is important to note, though, that this only works if the same report point exists in both scenarios. Information on graphing results from multiple scenarios and much more can be found in the Hydraulics and Hydrology section of Bentley Communities. Thank you for your time.